So, okay, we'll go over pistol parts now. Uh, any part of a pistol falls into basically one of three categories. Um, okay. There's the action. Okay, the action is that series of parts which load, fire, and unload the gun. So on a semi-automatic, again, these are these are plastic rounds. Okay, on a semi-automatic, the action includes the magazine, the magazine release, okay. magazine release, the trigger, the slide, the slide release and the hammer, okay? Again, a series of parts that load, fire, and unload the gun, okay? On a revolver, okay, this would include the trigger, the cylinder release here, the cylinder, okay, and the hammer, okay? Again, a series of parts that load, fire, and unload the gun. Also, the extractor here, okay? If you're not familiar with the extractor and a revolver, you load the rounds through the cylinder, close the cylinder. Then when you're dumping the rounds out, you pump the extractor, the rounds fall free. Okay? So we have a, we have a revolver here, and we have a semi-automatic. These are both pistols, these are both handguns. In fact, people tell me, this is a pistol, this is a revolver. That's not correct. They're both pistols. The definition of a pistol, the definition of a handgun, is a firearm that's designed, designed to be held and fired with one hand. So these are both pistols, these are both handguns. Uh, their action is different though. We have semi-automatic action versus revolver. Um, what's the difference between single action and double action? Any guesses? Single action, double action. Well, with double action, you pull the trigger, the hammer moves twice. Double action, hammer moves twice. Going to move back and then forward. Single action, the hammer moves once, it just moves forward. I'll get a little closer to this. Okay. Double action, the hammer moves twice. You pull the trigger once, the hammer goes back, and the hammer falls forward. Double action. So same automatic, it's double action the first shot, and we have single action thereafter. So you have to decide cycle, the hammer is up, you pull the trigger, the hammer moves once, it goes forward. Okay. Same works for revolvers. Double action, pull trigger once, hammer moves back, and then forward. Single action, hammer moves forward, one trigger pull. Again, double action, hammer moves twice. Single action, hammer moves once. Now this pistol can be fired single action or double action. There are some pistols that are single action only. Uh, this is like a cowboy gun, okay? And you see in the cowboy gun, or the cowboy movies where they're, they're tackling it every time for the fire. So they're doing this. That's yeah, called fanning. That's because the way the firearm was designed, you pull the trigger, the hammer can't function double action. You have to cock it every time before you pull the trigger. Okay? So that's the difference between single action and double action, semi automatic versus revolver. Okay? So we covered the action, a series of parts that load, fire, and unload the gun. Um, going over the barrel. The barrel is the metal tube the bullet goes through on its way down range. Okay. Now you look on the inside of a barrel, you have a rifling. Now what's the purpose of rifling? Rifling has two purposes. Uh, one, it spins the bullet. Think of it like spinning a football. Uh, this keeps it from toppling end over end and makes it more accurate down range. Also, it gives a place for lead fouling to go. Uh, basically all bullets are a lead ball. Some of them are closed in a jacket of metal, but basically they're all a lead ball that make a small hole. Okay. Um, so rifling gives the lead a place to go so it doesn't foul up your barrel, doesn't block your barrel. Keep it from blowing up in your face. So it's a very important. Uh, now modern firearms, the bullet is a little bit tighter and uh, with jacketing uh, it reduces lead fouling, but still you have powder and whatnot in there. It gives that a place to go. Um, now you see, on a revolver, the barrel does not move in relationship to the sights. The barrel does not move in relationship to the trigger. Okay, and this is a four inch barrel. And you see this firearm looks to be about the same size. You hold them up, this is about the same size. This one has about a two and a half inch barrel though. And if you pull the flight back, you can hear, you can hear that the barrel moves in there, okay? So the barrel moves in relationship to the sights, and the barrel moves in relationship to the trigger, okay? By virtue of that movement alone, this is a much more accurate gun. And in fact, this has twice the barrel of this gun 
and makes the revolver a more accurate gun. So we've had this gun for about 20 years, shot tens of thousands of rounds through it, never had a malfunction. I've had this since, um, well, I had one like this for about five years, shot a few thousand rounds through it, dozens of malfunctions. I've had this pistol here, this is a Ruger P95, I've had this since December, um, is, you know, with a break-in period, I've had at least 100, 150 malfunctions with this out of about 2,000 rounds. Um, so, no malfunctions, uh, more accurate, 100% reliable, this is a better firearm in a thousand different ways. Uh, this is a better firearm. So we talked about action, series of parts that load, fire, and unload the gun. Uh, we talked about mechanical safeties. We talked about the barrel. Um, third part of the firearm is the frame. This is basically uh, what the other parts are attached to. Now with a, a plastic uh, polymer stock like this Ruger has, um, the plastic receiver pretty much takes up the entire frame. Um, with this single action pistol, you can much easier see the frame because you can see the back strap here, the black metal stripe. Okay, it includes the grip panel, the trigger guard, and our revolvers is going to include the back side. The front side is actually included with the barrel here. Um, looking again at the semi automatic, um, the sights are part of the action, so you can see they're mounted on the slide. Okay, so that's pistol parts and functions.